We're bringing you information, knowledge, that has not been brought forth on Remedy This in this particular way. We've alluded to the cafe. We've talked about the cafe. But today, we want you to be absorbed with the cafe at Remedy This Naturally. And for you to understand what's going on with that, Caitlin Harrell is the main person behind it and helping get her done. And we're going to talk to you about some of the things that are available at the cafe and what we can do to help you have a pleasant experience with the eateries. Would that be a good way to call it? Yeah. So tell tell the people what you want them to know about you. You don't have to tell them anything you don't want them to know, <laughs> but tell them what you want them to know about you and uh, the big role that you've got playing at the cafe at Remy this naturally. Um, well, I'm 27 years old and I'm really just an at-home cook and baker and uh, the job opportunity just kind of came upon me one day and we've taken it and ran with it. <laughs> uh, but you say ran with it. Uh, what, what, are we, what are we running with? What, are, what is some of the things that maybe you can just kind of get the big spread about what is available at Remedy This at the cafe? Well, we started out first with a uh, soup of the day, um, just something real simple. Um, Mondays we have broccoli and cheddar soup, Tuesday we have tomato bisque, Wednesdays we have vegetable soup, Thursdays we have chicken and rice, and Fridays we have three bean chili. And you know, soup sounds like a good thing now since the weather's getting ready to oh, yeah. start chilling <laughs> a little bit. Uh, now, when you when you serve a soup, what normally goes with it? A good piece of bread or a good bakery item. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're talking about soup, and uh, you know, I, I think about bread. I think about uh, sandwiches. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I like the way you say that. <laughs> is so cool what 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 did we have when it comes to well talk about what bread would you put with a soup what bread well I actually this past week made a pimento cheese bread okay um, and that was awesome and it would go great with our tomato bisque or vegetable soup in my opinion cool um but we also have chicken salad and pimento cheese sandwiches that go great with the soup <laughs> so we could have a sandwich, soup, and uh, what has been some reactions to uh, having the opportunity to have a soup and sandwich and something that uh, some of it is vegetarian or vegan, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as we go in the program, um, but how, how does a person choose to say this is the way we want to be able to give you an experience that you'll come back for more. Oh, well, as soon as you walk in, you get to see my great smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think everybody can be excited about that. That is wonderful. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And uh, I mean, the soups are fantastic. And the fact that we're, like you said, selling vegetarian and vegan stuff, mm -hmm. uh, people are coming in looking for that. There's not much of a market for that around. And it makes people really excited that they would have an option there or to be able to tell me, I would like to see this on the menu, okay. and I can, can probably work it out. <laughs> yeah, make it work, huh? Um, so maybe we should give the audience the idea and understanding of what is the difference between vegan or vegetarian, or give us a little lesson <laughs> in how to break those things down. And so if someone is saying, I would like to try then what am I getting ready to experience by it being a vegan and I'm and we'll talk a little bit more about that I've got a uh, zucchini brownie that is knocks the socks off everything <laughs> going on whoever talked about a brownie and it's made with zucchini uh, I kind of saw that and I, my, my mind went away from uh, where I was going and my taste buds kicked in and it said yeah 
Let's take a break and <laughs> before we get started. That's what seems to happen with the brownies. People yeah. see them and everything goes out the window. <laughs> and so I was no different than a customer that you had saw them, right? Yes. <laughs> and it is good taste. But no, if you would explain uh, by what are we having that's vegetarian and what's the difference between that and vegan it would be great for the people. Mm -hmm. Um. The differences between vegetarian and vegan is that um, most vegetarians still drink milk or eat eggs. Um, they'll eat animal byproducts, but with vegan, it is completely animal free. Um, there is no byproducts or anything like that. So when baking or making okay. stuff vegan, um, I have to find different things to substitute for eggs, milk, and you know stuff like that. Okay, so. Give us an example of what you could substitute for an egg. Um, you can take one tablespoon of flaxseed meal and three tablespoons of water and set it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes and let it get thick and it will replace the egg. It, so in other words, basically is the egg to hold something together, yeah. is that what it's for? Mm -hmm. So what you do, you can make your own glue. Mm -hmm. so, so <laughs> and Hey, I have to say the flaxseed meal, you cannot tell a difference. You cannot tell that it doesn't have eggs in it. It holds together just as good as eggs, and I think it tastes better. <laughs> you know, what about if we offered the audience a challenge just to come in and to try it to see if they could even tell a difference? Mm -hmm. And because uh, I tell you, I'm sold on it. You know, <laughs> I've, uh, I'm not a vegan. Uh, I lean more toward vegetarian, even though I'd still eat meat. Uh, and I don't know what you know about O blood types, but O blood types have a tough time staying away from animal protein because mm -hmm. it's just something about uh, the blood type that makes us crave it, so to speak. <laughs> uh, I have I have gone that route, and uh, then uh, it just seemed like something was missing, and then ended up putting. Uh, some animal protein back in my diet and it gave me that little extra little boost mm -hmm. that I needed in my energy so uh, so we talked about that and then you since I interrupted and got going on <laughs> my thing there did we get the question answered about <laughs> yes. the vegan and vegan? so um, what is it that you would like the audience out there to know about what's happening at Remedy This Naturally, and that in the cafe, we have something that's available for them that is worthy of them trying it. Well, everything in the cafe is worthy of trying. Okay. <laughs> you, got, you got about all the best stuff here besides the soup. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to talk about what's in front of you? I was gonna say this orange cranberry muffin is probably our best seller. This and the zucchini brownies, they, they sell okay. out every week within just a couple days. Okay. <laughs> if they're trying to get a hold of one of these, they got to get there Monday. <laughs> okay, and that is, what, what are you holding? The orange cranberry nut muffin. So it's an orange cranberry and it has nuts in it. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, so cranberries really give it a, uh, what kind of flavor? A more fruity flavor. Fruity flavor, mm -hmm. okay. And the orange is going to give it a that citrus citrus, citrus flavor, flavor, okay. And, and the nuts add to make it the best. <laughs> and is there a particular nut that's better than another nut? <laughs> I uh, like pecans the best. <laughs> okay, that is great. And then uh, uh, you were going to get the next one beside it there. Mm -hmm. And this one's the banana nut muffin. Banana nut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like banana nut bread, but it's mm -hmm. in a muffin form. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I saw something today when I was in the uh, Remedy This and looking in the cafe, and I saw some little, look like small loaves of bread. What the world is that? Um, those are my new cinnamon raisin um, mini vegan loaves of bread, um, and they're very good. I use the flaxseed replacement in those. Okay. Um, and they i made them on friday and they were sold out by saturday <laughs> and it was my first time ever making them uh in the cafe so i made four more today and we'll see if okay. they get sold <laughs> oh, well i know they will <laughs> if people will taste it 
they will like it. Oh yeah. Uh, since doing this, um, there is my understanding, uh, people who come in, like on Monday, as soon as things are baked, mm -hmm. and they are looking for their uh, regular treat they get mm -hmm. for themselves. Uh, do you want to explain that? Oh, I especially the cookies, the vegan cookies, uh, we sell out Mondays, Tuesdays. Normally they're not there by Wednesday and I have to be making more. Um, but people will wait for the muffins while we're still putting them in containers and be like, I want that blueberry one you just took <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, we'll package it up for you. It's hot and fresh and ready to go. Okay. <laughs> and how... I mean, from just, just listening to you talking, Caitlin, I hear a love for what you do. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, hear, uh, I hear that it's, it's almost like every item that's available to the public to be able to enjoy has a With Caitlin's Heart signature. Oh, I put uh, a love and a prayer into everything I make. <laughs> and, and this is actually... Uh, making it very exciting for the people who are getting the opportunity to participate in the eating of the goodies. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see people grab my zucchini brownies and just open them as they're paying for them and they're like this is just so delicious I love it. Or when they come in they're like what happened to the zucchini brownies? I need them. Uh -huh. <laughs> And, and I say that particularly because that's my grandma's recipe. And so I've been eating those since I was a child, and it's just very special to me. <laughs> so you've actually taken, and I would probably dare say that uh, you and Jennifer both have sat down and talked about, and not only that, you tested different things to see what the customer wanted mm -hmm. and that's what we're working with now correct yes sir <laughs> okay um what is it that makes it so special for you to be so excited about remedy this naturally the cafe and the contribution you're making well i love to be able to give people what they want i want them to come in and be excited about what we have to offer and excited when we have what exactly what they want and okay. that just makes me happy in general when they taste my food or taste my bakery items they're like this is the best and I want to come back because I do I put all my love and my heart into it and I want it to be as great as possible and I love my regular customers <laughs> like if you come in and see me constantly I'm gonna know your name and I'm gonna know what you like and have it ready for you on the counter ready to go and then try to upsell you just a little bit <laughs> on something new that I made <laughs> so, so in other words if if you can have an extra 15 seconds uh -huh. then they may want to try something different yes and uh, and, and the neat thing about that, you call it upselling, but it's also <laughs> taking an interest in your customer. Oh yes. And saying, hey, look, I from from us having uh, an encounter of talking to one another, and you've expressed to me how you like this particular item. Uh, it resonates with me that I need to share with you something mm -hmm. else that can help you be happy with your palate. Mm-hmm. And I've asked some of the like vegan and vegetarian customers who come in, what would you like to see on our menu? Mm -hmm. And most of them said vegetable soup. And I'm like, well, come in Wednesday because we got it for you. <laughs> it is a cool. Now, the vegetable soup, and there's also a bean soup, right? Mm -hmm, the three bean chili on Fridays. Okay. That, that is kind of uh, unique in itself. Um, which one? Talk about one of them then we'll talk about the other one. Oh, right <laughs> um, well the vegetable soup that i make is just a mixed vegetable soup and um i made it uh it kind of tastes a little bit taco-y with the spices that i put into it for all uh, the seasoning but um it's completely vegan and it's a tomato based soup instead of a broth based soup okay and so that's going to be more for someone that likes a chili or is the other one the more the, the other bean? ones the, the bean ones the more the chili one <laughs> the beans the more chili mm -hmm. one and what day is that served 
Um, the vegetable is Wednesday. Chili is Friday. Okay. Uh, something about Friday sounds like a good chili. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Does that little girl at Wendy's get her? Uh, it's no comparison, is it? Oh, no, it's not. I took some, my daughter is seven, and she has never ate chili. Well, she's ate it, but she's never liked it. And uh, so I take me a bowl home of chili on Fridays, and she loves it. It's her okay. favorite thing. So I'm like, I know if I can get her to eat it, anybody will love it. <laughs> and, and so that is co so cool. Um, my understanding is that there's a really unique love between you and your mom. Oh, yes. <laughs> she talk, to us, talk to us a little bit about how the two of you work together. Oh, well, my mom is definitely, um, she loves to bake. She can make cookies better than me. She's got the artistic hands that she can put the designs on them. I'm going to have to get some pointers from her for that. <laughs> okay. Um, but she she has always made good home style food, meatloaf, scalloped potatoes, um, anything that you would find in a southern kitchen. <laughs> and um, she's always cooked with me, and we've always baked. And my grandma too. It's three generations of it. <laughs> and I mean, she lives in Indiana now, so we don't get to you know cook a whole lot together anymore but I know that there's been days at the cafe that I've called her and been like what do I make today mom <laughs> and I know that she's got the answer <laughs> you know um, and, and my understanding um, is that this love as a teen as a mom and daughter uh, goes back to your you're bringing up. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, do you want to share any of that? <laughs> what would you like to know? Just about the cooking aspects? <laughs> well, the thing that, Norris, what, what I'm doing is I'm asking questions that make it so people know you a little bit more. And when they know you a little bit more and they understand the story, <laughs> behind okay let's just take for example could you tell us a story about the zucchini brownie that would help every time someone takes a bite out of theirs that they think about this is what happened this is how it all came about and i'm part of that history yeah well the zucchini brownie, like I said, started with my grandma, and I remember she kept us as kids. So I, up until I went to, to elementary school, she kept me, and I was the youngest, so I was the last one there. And she would go out into her garden and get fresh zucchini and bring it in and grate it up and make the zucchini brownies. And I know whenever I'd go home, I'd be like, Mom. I want you to make some of those. She's just like, you have to wait till you go to grandma's house to oh, get them. <laughs> is grandma still living? Yes, grandma's still living. <laughs> so you got grand, you got three generations. Yep. Four? Well, take your daughter, then we have four, yes. right? But well, she's not quite into cooking yet. Not yet. But she I likes think. to mix the stuff okay. up and lick the bowl. <laughs> well, I, she's into it then. <laughs> I think that's all I was doing back when uh, my grandma was making zucchini brownies. <laughs> and, and so. I guess without giving the trade secret away, you've got you do have chocolate in there or mm -hmm. cocoa, one mm -hmm. or the other, and make it that way. Well, I can tell you that there is no water in these. That um, you put the zucchini into the the dry ingredients and you fold it into it and then let it set for five to ten minutes and the dry ingredients pull out. The water from the zucchini and then you mix it and make it into a dough and then put it into the oven was that because people had to walk to the well <laughs> <laughs> i'm guessing they were trying to figure out a way to make the water without having to have the water <laughs> yeah it's kind of cool that bringing that up that's kind of mm -hmm. cool um any other story that we didn't say about the zucchini that you would like to share <laughs> Well, like I said, my mom enjoys um, baking the holiday cookies, mm -hmm. and every holiday um, she would do the icing, the real thin sugar icing on mm -hmm. the holiday cookies and decorate them real pretty, and I think that that is going to be one thing that I'm going to try and do here in the cafe in the next few weeks for Christmas. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, folks, what I'm doing is interviewing Caitlin Harris, 
Uh, if you'll come into the cafe at Remedy This Naturally, you'll get to see our friendly face and smile. Um, and you'll be able to enjoy some of the creations that she has, okay? Um, what we have done, we've, we've had the smoothies, uh, we've had uh, different ways of trying to work with, uh, well, we call it a, a deli, now we call it a cafe. What's the difference in the two? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I feel like a deli should have sliced meat. Yes. We don't have sliced meat. <laughs> like, like it needs to be from New York. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> deli. <laughs> and so, okay, that's a good one. So, uh, cafe sounds like uh, more classic, more country, mm -hmm. and uh, some, and, and and basically some of Mama's old recipes. Yes. <laughs> so, I like that. That's very good. Um, with that in mind. We've talked about a little bit about the zucchini. We've talked a little bit about um, some of the items we have available at the Remedy This Cafe. But the main thing I want to do is just let you guys get involved because one of the things, and we've actually been in the location we're in now right at 16 years. Okay. And we've had the contract post office there, We've had, uh, uh, we've tried different things in the uh, eatery part of the business, and we just feel that we have found something that is important to you to be able to enjoy. Um, therefore, we want you to get enough interest by watching us here on WHIG that you will make a trip to remedy this naturally. And our hours are 10 to 5 for the, uh, okay, cool. The post office is <laughs> 10 to 5, Monday through Friday. And uh, Saturday, we've got it uh, 10 to 2. So that's one phase of the uh, thing there. Lee, you did good on that, buddy. Uh, and there we are. The big mail truck picks up at the box. Uh, you know, we do the same thing at the contract post office that your regular post office has to offer except we do not offer mailboxes we do not offer duck stamps um, and money orders otherwise we can accommodate you pretty well and get you what you need so um, that's across the street and uh, I actually just took that today <laughs> uh, and you can see the, the uh, postal truck to the right with the mailbox give you some idea and if you look there about the middle of the screen, the um, post office sign was there. Now we got the remedy to this sign. And I couldn't ask for a better uh, parking lot to be full with the people in, in uh, coming in and taking care of what we have to offer there. I think that's really cool. Um, and that's looking back to the right hand side. That is actually the uh, bank next door. And uh, so, and then the sign showing. And also, uh, for your information, the bottom of the sign, uh, it talks about the uh, hair salon that's in the back part of the building as well. Um, there we go, it's 1140 Benvenue Road is the actual location. Uh, to the right there where the windows are showing is actually a place for you to be able to sit down and enjoy what you're purchasing uh, for your food at Remedy This Naturally. So. And it is amazing to me, Caitlin, how many people have not had the opportunity or taken the opportunity to come into the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I that, agree. They got, you know, hopefully uh, getting to their stomach, <laughs> 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 then, then we can, if, what's that, my mama used to say, the, the way to get a man was to be a good cook. <laughs> 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 and that's what she would say about that. Um, so, um, well, that was cool. That kind of <laughs> threw me off for a minute with my outline here. Uh, but the main thing is, we just kind of, the best part about this is we're at liberty to um, kind of just talk about what we want to talk about. So it would interest the uh, people in the audience. The main thing, folks, all 
the whole objective of this is to get you to come in to remedy this and to try the things that are available for you there. And what we're emphasizing on this broadcast is the cafe. Um, what else you're talking to someone? Does any particular questions come up uh, in talking to customers that you would like to share? Mostly like what we use to make things vegan, um, like that we use beet sugar in the cafe and uh, instead of regular sugar, uh, I make all of the brown sugar with molasses so that it's beet sugar, brown sugar. And um, mo that's mostly it. people asking what, um, well, what's going to be coming next mm -hmm. <laughs> and what it's made with. So. Yes, uh, so you use the good old black strap molasses? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> now, did you, being a country girl, uh, when I was growing up, there were certain people in my family that would get a biscuit, then they have on the table black strap molasses was sitting right there, and they would actually, maybe not the kosher way of doing it, they would stick their thumb... <laughs> in the biscuit <laughs> and make a hole uh -huh. and then they reach over for the molasses and fill up the hole in the biscuit i've never heard of that <laughs> okay uh but that was what they would do maybe it's just kind of uh some of my weird relatives <laughs> i don't know uh but no that's what they did it was taken uh, because and it would just let it soak into the biscuit Mm -hmm. And then you'd have a good little a black strap. <laughs> now, I do you eat molasses? Some I use it to cook with. Okay, mm -hmm. but the reason I was going to uh, I'm I was leading up to something <laughs> I probably should have asked that should have put you on the spot. <laughs> Me, if I take molasses and eat it or on something just like it is out of the jar, mm -hmm. to me it's a little bitter. Mm -hmm. And what I do to offset that is, I kind of make it half blackstrap molasses, mm -hmm. half honey. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, so that's kind of called sweetening it up. <laughs> yeah. And so that's what I like to do, uh, put the two together. So uh, just thinking about it, uh, growing up, how many folks out there remember this? Uh, my Aunt Margaret and Uncle William ran a little country store, mm -hmm. okay? And what they would do is they would have sitting on the counter a five-gallon bucket of molasses. And so if you needed molasses, I don't know if you brought in your own container or they had <laughs> containers for you. I don't know that. I don't remember that because it wasn't that important as a little young whippersnapper. Um, but it, they they would sit there and give put the molasses in the jug for people to take <laughs> home and use. Uh, so that's going way back, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> way back. Uh, I had been uh, going through some old stuff, you know, kind of get stick in a closet somewhere or stick in a garage or something, and finding some things out that uh, brought memories back about things like that. So. <laughs> Um, what is the greatest asset that you have into cooking and making people want to come to remedy this to the get something to eat? Well, my greatest asset would be my mom. Okay. Because <laughs> without her, I don't know what I'd do. Her, the chicken and rice is also her recipe, mm -hmm. even though we make it with um, vegetarian chicken and um, vegetable broth. Your vegetarian chicken, does that mean the chicken's been eating only vegetables? <laughs> No, definitely not. <laughs> that wasn't even a fair question, was it? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't go over this whole thing before we got started. We just wanted to make sure that you guys got the best of Caitlin and being able to know that you're going to have what you want when you come to Remedy This Naturally and, uh, and enjoy the creations that are there. Um, they're, they're there for your benefit with consideration for what's good for you. And the other thing is some of these ingredients, because um, 
I work more on the health food side and uh, the things that are in the ingredients. Uh, and I'll share this with Caitlin as we're talking that it's my belief that if you were able to put back into the body exactly what it was missing, mm -hmm. then the body could heal itself. Mm -hmm. And that was the sole purpose of the Garden of Eden uh, for the, basically the same number of, my understanding, the minerals that are in the soil are the same one we have in our body. Mm -hmm. So if we can find out what mineral we're missing, then the body can take and correct the imbalances there. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is it, I guess, uh, kind of put you on the spot again. <laughs> Um, the idea of being able to use your expertise to see a smile on somebody's face and for them to be happy. Um, what's the next step after that? Just having them come back. <laughs> come back. Yeah. I want to give them the best service and best food that I can that they want to come and see me every day. Okay. Um, talk about you and talk about your gift to the people at Remedy This Naturally. And just say, for example, we've got a cranberry orange nut muffin. When I take this and I open it up and I can either eat it out of here and what I do on these is kind of what we were talking about a minute ago. <laughs> I take and kind of open it up and I, if I want to put a little molasses and put a little bit of honey in there, I do that. Um, you know, I just purchased this. What are you hoping for next? I'm hoping that you enjoy it, like, m I would say more than when you go somewhere else, because love has been put into these. I've worked hard, and I want my customers to come back. Okay. So when this comes and it gets put into a container for the person to be able to get it to where they want to enjoy it, does it put a smile on your face? Yes, because I'm imagining them going home so excited with this this muffin, and they're like, mmm, it smells so good. I could smell it out of the bakery when I got it. And they go home, and like you said, I like to cut mine open and put a little bit of butter in. <laughs> uh -huh. and, uh, and I And that's what I think about is they're going home, they're like, I'm going to warm this up just a little bit, get some butter melty, and enjoy it. <laughs> okay. Um. I like also using jellies. I think we've got an elderberry mm -hmm. jelly, uh, and it is absolutely good. Oh yeah. Uh, to put that, put that along with it, uh, it's exciting to do that. Um, you know, if you think about the marketing aspect of what people are purchasing, something different about this. And what's different about this, in my opinion, is that you don't have to keep on selling it. You just got to get the person to try it. Mm -hmm. And then it's sold. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what normally happens next is what's kind of cool. <laughs> You're going to tell somebody about this. Mm -hmm. Is there been a referral you can remember that someone sent somebody in to? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> when I made my cinnamon raisin bread this past weekend um, on Friday, a man and wife came in and, well, before I left on Friday, I stopped this woman's son. And I was like, tell your mom I made the cinnamon raisin bread, it's vegan. And he was like, okay. And he was getting one of our veggie dogs and veggie burgers. and. Um, 
I was like, tell your mom to come in. So the next day, she didn't make it in before they were all sold out. A man and wife came in and they tried one loaf of my bread and came in and bought the rest of them. <laughs> and she came in and was like, where's the bread <laughs> and they told me today they were like you got to make more because she came in looking for it i said well i've been telling everybody i know that's vegan hey i made this bread i know you're gonna want it <laughs> so the person actually got somebody else to buy their bread <laughs> <laughs> you know you mentioned something else and i'm about to overlook it i've gotten so involved here in the the cooking aspect of the the brownie and the cakes and the other things that do you mind talking about the vegan hot dog and the vegan burger well the uh, vegan hot dog we have is a plant-based hot dog and um, I mean to look at it you'd have no idea to taste it I feel the same way <laughs> And, I love it. Yeah, I was going to say it has a very good taste and texture to it. I I have many people who come in, and even though they see that it's vegan, mm -hmm. they buy it, and they come back for it because they're like, it's just as good, and I feel like it's better for you than, mm -hmm. you know, the processed meat. Yeah, I will actually doctor up my uh, hamburger a little bit more. Uh, I like a slice of cheese on it, mm -hmm. you know, and your pickles. Uh, <laughs> I think we have relish available in mm -hmm. it, but uh, I'll usually take mine home <laughs> and uh, doctor it up. And you know, and even after it's been there, uh, and you kind of get the idea that uh, by having a hot dog in a bun, that it wouldn't be good if it was, you know, but you can warm it up mm -hmm. and put the condiments on it. Uh, it's good to me. Oh yeah, and our um, our veggie burger is actually a garden burger. So when you look at it, it has like an amazing look to it, in my opinion. It you can see all of the vegetables like mashed together and everything, and it's on a nice bun. We got all the condiments to add to it, and even though it doesn't have the taste of a regular burger, it is in my opinion better because it's healthier for you and it just has a completely different taste to it that's better <laughs> well and, and actually if you put condiments on something then you actually uh, divert the taste anyway <laughs> uh, how have, have you eaten for vegan or I was a vegetarian for four years <laughs> okay so you had vegetarian yeah um, and then what happened <laughs> I'm also um, type O blood. <laughs> <laughs> so in other words, you just threw that one back in my lap, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, four years. And uh, whenever I started eating meat again, I went back to only eating fish and chicken. Um, mm. But I needed the red meat in my life. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, so, but you know, the thing is, and if we talk about on our show here, is that we are what we eat, we are what we don't eat, we are what we think, we are what we don't think. So we are made up of complexities. Mm -hmm. And the neat thing about it is we're trying to give you options in Rocky Mount to be able to choose from. Mm -hmm. That you can have the opportunity to try different things. Now, is there other things in the deli that, I mean, we've talked about the breads and the cakes and the muffins, and then all of a sudden we just remember <laughs> that we need to talk about the hot dogs and the hamburgers. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you can call them hamburgers anymore because they don't ham in there. Uh, what do you refer to the burgers as? Garden burgers. Garden burgers. There you go. <laughs> I knew she'd help me out. Uh, what else is it that... Uh, you have available there we have um chicken sandwiches um they're like chicken filet sandwiches mm -hmm. that we cook in the oven okay um, and those are real chicken okay. <laughs> and um they come in a bun and in the warmer and they're very delicious and very juicy <laughs> okay um and i was selling uh sweet potatoes but i think that we're going to try and change it up and maybe go for uh, a small side of mixed vegetables or some butter beans <laughs> okay uh so we've got uh some other things there that you're working with um oh 
you got some things that are called beverages that are smoothies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about smoothie for a little bit. Because I noticed today when I came in that the lady was looking and she said, you have smoothies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, do you want to talk about that for a little bit? Well, we do have smoothies with many, many different flavors. Um, and we have different bases, so we can make it um, vegan with the almond milk or... Um, we have the non-fat yogurt. Um, we have ice cream base um, and many different flavors. But I have to say our best seller would be strawberry. <laughs> strawberry smoothie. But uh, strawberry banana would probably be the second runner-up. <laughs> now, we just say, for example, I heard you talk today and send recommendation. Mm -hmm. I believe it was a raspberry and a strawberry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that your favorite? That's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> So if someone asks your favorite, then it's going to yes. be different than what's on the list. Yes. <laughs> um, talk about some of the things that can be added to. Well, that's what I was going to say. When you talked about that recommendation, immediately after that, I said, do you want to add flaxseed or B12 to it? And she said, oh, B12. You have B12? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yes. That is probably our number one thing that people put into their smoothies but we also have um three different kinds of uh like solstic energy the 24 hour um we have the b12 we have the rejuvenate which uh, we have a regular customer who comes in every single day and gets a strawberry uh smoothie with almond milk and the rejuvenate in it and he started adding b12 and yeah. that's a good smoothie <laughs> that rejuvenate is something to help build your get up and go right mm -hmm. yes uh, so and you can actually take a few moments to uh look on the board there that as you're facing mm -hmm. the uh cafe uh, so wh what do you think has been the greatest asset for helping people by uh being at remedy this recommended mostly with the smoothies recommending um things that would help them people come in and they'll be like well i just got done working out what can i use or i'm about to go work out what can i have in a smoothie that i could go and work out and i'm like well you can get the nature's harvest or you can get the whey protein the b12 is going to give you the energy it's going to help you build muscle you know and be able to help guide people not everybody who comes in knows what would be best for them i had someone come in and ask for the rejuvenate and i was like well what are you looking for and they ended up getting uh the solstic 24 because they were like that's more of what i'm looking for to give me all my vitamins and nutrients i'm not looking for something to replace you mm -hmm. know? and um so just I don't know everything about health food, but I know the things that I need to. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, it's it's and it's a learning experience. No. Uh, even with the years that I have put into the natural health realm, uh, it's just I guess I told somebody that I'm at a place in my life that the more I know, the more I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot that's that it, you know some things are just plain long simple. Uh, when it comes to cleansing, detoxifying, adding to the body, when we talk about uh, the silver that we use and uh, uh, also the silver toothpaste, I, I like it. Um, then we talk about the silver that you can use in a liquid form. Uh, I got this one and uh, I don't know what's going on, but there seems to be a lot of gnats around. Oh, yes. And so I picked this one up called Bug Bar. It's an essential oil blend. And one of the first ingredients in there is citronella. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's I picked this one up to start using for myself and learning something about a product that we have uh, just because there's a need to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I need to use it. Um, so I guess the thing is... Um, what is it that you want to say that I haven't directed the right question yet? I think you've covered about everything that we have at the cafe. Um, <clears throat> just that we have a Facebook page. Um, if you go to Facebook, it's Remedy This Naturally Cafe. And uh, I try to keep up with it and post on it every day um, and all the new items. Can uh, Lee bring that up and put it on? Uh, Lee, can you bring that up and put it on the screen for us? Um, Remedy This Naturally Cafe. 
it's on I, Facebook. R Remedy this naturally cafe. On Facebook. Facebook. And uh, what it, the reason I'm asking that, uh, my wife showed me when you were fixing it was one of the soups. Uh -huh. You showed a picture of it cooking. Uh -huh. Would that be on here? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we can talk about some of the things on Facebook here. All right. I thought that was really cool. You yes. see the bubbles coming mm -hmm. up and the cooking aspect of it. Uh, I don't think you can get any fresher than that, can you? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make people hungry. They scroll through and they're like, mm, it's yeah. cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool. Um, and I'd say please watch for that more and more on the Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, because you're trying to let people know what specials you have with mm -hmm. new creations. I yep. guess that's uh, <laughs> Remedis Herbal Creations. You know, that used to be one of our names. Uh, but Remedis Naturally. And uh, that would be cool. Um, glad you brought that up so yes. we could talk about that. And then maybe you can uh, direct Lee once he gets it up to some of the things there that may be of importance to the people who are watching. So that's important to know. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, let's see. What is it that you just like to share? <laughs> um, about anything. About anything? Yeah, anything you just like to share. Um, well, I'm a mom of three. <laughs> okay. And. Uh, my my children love my baking so i'm glad that everybody else is enjoying it as much as they do <laughs> okay. and so you have an audience at home uh, yes. that you can experiment on yes <laughs> and or you can take something back to them that say look i learned something that yep. mommy's gonna make you proud right oh yeah <laughs> and um the cinnamon raisin vegan bread I made uh, I got one of those Friday to take home and it was gone within 10 minutes of me getting there like did I, you get any I got one bite and it wasn't even a whole slice of it it was just a little piece I pulled off it just fell off it. right yes <laughs> and they ain't the rest of it I was like well I mean I guess it was good and nobody knows that it was vegan <laughs> that is cool and that's another thing people come in and I had a lady come in today she said oh this is vegan I don't know that I'm gonna like that. And she started to put it back. I said, "Ma'am, I promise you, I was like, you take it home, you won't be able to tell the difference." And she said, "Really?" I said, "Yeah." And I'm hoping that I'll make a customer out of her. She'll come back and tell me that tasted just like a regular brownie. Yeah. <laughs> and the the it's it's lighter. It's more like a cake mm -hmm. brownie than a hard brownie. Mm -hmm. uh, that's I like the fluffiness in it. Oh yeah. I like the fluffiness. <laughs> So that's a good thing about that. Um, and there's some other things, other muffins we have other than the two that was brought here today. What, do we have other flavors? Mm -hmm. um, I know that there's blueberry, chocolate chip, uh, there's mocha cappuccino. Mm. That one, yes. <laughs> you do a cup of coffee, right? Yes, and it is very delicious. <laughs> Um, we have lemon poppy seed. That's another one of my favorites. Yes, also. That, that's also very uh, a good seller. I would just say that they're all my favorite. I'm like, this one's so good, and that one's so good, and <laughs> they all are. Well, you know, the neat thing about it is, if you have enough different ones, you can have your favorite every day of the week. <laughs> exactly. Yes. And, and even on Sunday, Kurt, the one you want. If you can leave it alone Saturday night, you can have it for Sunday morning. I don't know about that. I have to get some brownies and some cookies to hold me over to Sunday. <laughs> so, and uh, so we have three children mm -hmm. and boys, girls. All girls. Oh, okay. Yes. So, uh, we can pass on if the girls can consider that yeah. one of their talents are cooking. Oh, I'm sure they'll all be in the kitchen when they're older. I need hands. <laughs> <laughs> that is so special um, yeah to make it make it to make it happen and I'm the youngest of four girls and my mom only had girls <laughs> okay yeah so it's just a bunch of girls and we all know how to cook <laughs> Wow so the you got three girls mm -hmm. you got three sisters mm -hmm. and so you make the fourth one yeah not <laughs> the sister but the girl and uh, 
How about any further back? Uh, my grandma had two girls, two boys. <laughs> okay. Somebody had to get the tradition going, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Carry the name out of somewhere down the road. Oh, yeah. Um, but Okay, you got it for me? Bring it on. <laughs> Okay, folks, this is great. I, this has been, I, I've enjoyed it. There we go. Anything you want to direct mm -hmm. anybody to there, or can you see it okay? Oh, yep, something that we completely forgot. The main profile picture, the one that's in the little circle, shows uh -huh. our smoothie and muffin cards. That if you buy, yep, right there, if okay. you buy 10, you get your 11th one free on a smoothie or a muffin. Okay. I'm so <laughs> glad we went there. Okay. <laughs> What else can we direct anybody to? Yeah, Lee's going down, and uh, have we got a live? Uh, right there's the cinnamon raisin bread. The vegan cinnamon, cinnamon raisin, raisin bread. bread. Can you get a close up on that? Yeah, click on there. Oh wow, they look like a nice little. That's a mini loaf, correct? Yep, a mini loaf. And, and you notice, I noticed right up above there, <laughs> there's a vacant spot from somebody that got that zucchini yes. bread already. <laughs> I see that gone. <laughs> okay. I believe that, in that post I said that there is only, I think, three of those brownies left out of the 24 I made. She made 24, three left at the time of this posting. <laughs> okay. Scroll on down, Lee. We're doing good, buddy. All right. And um, that one's the video. Ah, uh, this is the one out right there. Yes. And that's the three bean chili that three, I made on Friday. There you go. Look at there. That's what you call get her done girl oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that okay that's what I want to show that's what you call really cooking <laughs> uh, hey we got some uh, nice posts and stuff and what is it is that something we need to read or not that was when we were closed for the oh, okay we don't need to worry about that those are um butter pecan vegan cake balls I understand they're small, but dino might. Is oh, that what they yes. are? There's only two in a pack because they're very sweet. It's much like a piece of candy. Mm. With um, Tell us what it is again. It's a butter pecan vegan cake balls. Butter pecan vegan cake balls. But it has no butter in it. <laughs> okay. I used um, <laughs> blue agave <laughs> instead of butter in those. Uh, that is so cool. Well, well, do we have to change the name now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was talking to someone. I was like, they're uh, vegan butter pecan. They were like, butter? I was like, it's butter. It's blue agave. <laughs> yeah. It's a, and agave is really, really neat. Mm -hmm. And what do we have here? Um, I believe that is the vegetable soup. Okay. And, um, okay. and uh, my vegan brownies when they were fresh made and put out, all 24 of them. <laughs> okay. All right. We have a little less than two minutes to wrap this up what would you like to be remembered for from this broadcast and the people th that you want them to hear from you well I would love for people to get up on Facebook and you can send me a message if there's anything that you're interested in seeing in the cafe that I might be able to whip up I would be interested in any new ideas okay and um, I'm that would be it. I want, I want to give the customers what they would like and uh, have them coming back and be satisfied and pleased. Cool. Well, what I want to say is, folks, we are very pleased to have Caitlin on our staff to be able to offer you the opportunity to have a different taste bud in your tasting buds and that you can have the opportunity to know that Remedy This Naturally with as many multi-faced things that are going on inside of that building, contract post office. You can do things like uh, checking out what the body needs when it comes to herbal supplements. Your life, your health, your total well-being are very important and you are the final say-so as to who, what needs to be done. We offer the opportunity to give you that choice. We don't prescribe a diagnose, but what we do do is share testimonies and love that God wants you to be healthy and prosper as your soul prospers. And with that in mind, give yourself the gift.
come into Remedy Dish Naturally to the cafe, meet Caitlin, and take advantage of the other services offered to you. I'm Claiborne Holtzman. May good health be yours, and thank you, Caitlin. Thank you. <laughs>